If you're interested to know how this data set was downloaded from the worldbank.org website, take a look at the video that I'll put right here. So here we have unfiltered, uncleaned data set. Here in the first column, I have my country name. In the second column, I have the country code. I'm going to decide to delete the country code because I'm okay with having just the country name. Next, I have my series. So these are the different topics on which all these um, values were collected. So I'm going to keep this. The next column is series code. So here I'm going to decide to delete this column because I have column B with the actual topic names. Now here the rest of the row headers are basically the years. But here the year is um, not cleaned. So here I have 1987 and then a parenthesis with the year 1987 repeated. So I'm going to first fix this. So in Excel, I'm going to just type 1987. After typing 1987 here, I'm going to drag it all the way across till the end. Then when you see this plus sign right here, I'm going to select Fill Series. Most of the years um, after 2017 appear to be empty, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Next, you're going to save this Excel file in a location where it's easy to find because it's going to be extracted into Tableau. So the goal is basically to try and clean up your data in Excel as much as you can before you try and import it into Tableau. So here, when you open up Tableau, you will see on your left hand side that it gives you the option to connect to different files. In this video, we're going to connect to an Excel file. Next, you're going to navigate to where you stored the downloaded data file and click on open. So this process can take a little time depending on the size of your data set. So my Excel file had two sheets of data. On the left side here, you will see those two sheets listed. So my data set is in the sheet called data. You can do a little preview by clicking right here. So my series metadata is basically my second sheet in my Excel file. So all the sheets that you have in your Excel file tend to show up right here. Now you're going to drag the sheet that you will be using for import into Tableau. Since I'm using my data tab, I'm going to drag and drop it right here on the right hand side. Now here, I recommend you use the data interpreter tool because Tableau can help you clean your Excel workbook. Second, I recommend you select the extract option since we are not connected to a live server. The goal here is to transpose our year to create a column which says years. So as you can see here, this sheet basically looks kind of like your Excel sheet itself. So here you have your columns and you have your rows. All of the years are in row format, similar to how it looks in Excel. The goal here is to transpose the year column and to create a column called years with all the numbers or all these years listed underneath it. So in order to do that, you will select the first year column. Since I'm using Mac, I'm pressing and holding the command shift key and I'm clicking on the last year, 2017. So what that does is it selects all the years at once. Of course, if you want, you can select it one by one by holding the command key. And to do this faster, as I suggested, you can press and hold the command and the shift key, scroll to the right and click on the last year in your data set. Now, the inverted triangle that you see in 2017, which is the last year in your data set, you're going to click on that 
and you're going to select the option called Pivot. So here what this has done is, this is your country name, this is your series name, which are all the different topics, and this one called field names is basically your year field. So under this column you have all your years neatly arranged. Keep in mind that Tableau will not show you your entire data set. Here it's going to show you 1000 rows of data. Now this last field is basically all the values corresponding to the different topics and the years that you saw in Excel. Now the other check I recommend you do is the data type. So here, since it's country, you see the globe icon. This is perfect. It's your geographic data. Next on the series, you have text data. So that's fine. So for the year field, you notice that I saved it as a text data. I recommend you changing it to a date field. When you select date in Tableau, it adds a default day, which is the 1st of Jan for all the years. This helps when you're doing forecast later on. The last field here is basically your numerical values and it has the hashtag symbol, which is the decimal number format, which is fine. You can leave it as is. Now your data set is clean, you have transposed your year and created this column called year. So you're ready for analysis. So now you can click on the sheet one tab. It's going to ask you to save the extract. You can leave it at its default location. It basically saves the extract in the Tableau engine. Here, when you get to sheet one, you will notice that all the dimensions are basically your non-numeric values. And your pivot fields values, which were the actual values, are numeric. So it has saved it under the measures section. So this has loaded correctly. You can always do a snapshot view of your data by clicking right here.